When you come in this house, you're gonna get an assortment of scents. I'm a forever scholar and I love that. And these are the things that just make me feel, you know, reinvented, alive, winning, all the things, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's reinventing themselves, so let's talk about it. I've been seeing these videos and I'm like, oh, we could talk about this too, you know? Because the reinvention, it started a while ago and we're gonna do makeup and chit chat. Literally threw on this hat. I'm calling it a hat because I have not done anything to secure this wig whatsoever. I will leave all the links to products down below. Let's use this YSL All Hours Foundation and get started. So I know that you've been seeing these videos and I'm just like, wait, is this a thing now to talk about how we're reinventing ourselves, what we're doing to basically glow up, right? I never looked at it like that per se. I just had gotten to a point where I didn't like where I was. And I talked about this in a different video. Make sure you watch that. I know that this is dark. I know that this is dark. I'm gonna build it up. Do not be alarmed. <laughs> this is the shade. DC9, by the way. I got to a point where I realized that I was not pleased with my life and things had to change. And little by little, I started to pick up on things that I realized made me happy. And then I wrote them down and just made sure that I continue to do them. And of course, this list has evolved. This is really giving blackface. I get it. <laughs> this shade is deeper than I normally like to go with. <laughs> but again, don't be, don't, don't be alarmed and don't message me hate comments either because I don't want to hear it. And this is the Morphe E63 brush, by the way. Okay, this shade is really dark. <laughs> Woo, but it's not blackface when you're black, so don't even try it. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. I got this during the Sephora sale, and the lady told me that this is so pigmented that it will give you the coverage of a foundation. And I've used this, what, once or twice? And I've loved it. This is the shade 80W0, or O, W, O, whatever. All right, we got our beauty sponge. Now, I made a list. This is not in any particular order, okay? So don't look at it that way. But let's talk about foundation. Back when COVID started, I fell in love with fragrance. And I don't even know what prompted this. I can't even recall. Maybe it was a just, maybe it just became more of a talked about thing online. And I fell in love with fragrance. I began to build my fragrance stash, learn the different notes, and then prioritize making sure that not only my home, but my body smelled good. Cause you can shower and you know that you're clean, right? But putting on a fragrance is intentional. And the intentionality of it all became more of a priority for me. And I love it. I now have way more fragrances than I ever would have imagined in my life. I'm not even kidding. I, I'm, I'm even shocked. I can't even get to everything. That's how crazy it is. And every time I have somebody over, I <laughs> we are going through all of my stash. We're smelling all of them. I'm introducing them to the notes. It's a fun thing. If you've been in my house, which is not very many people, but if you have, you know what I'm talking about. I put this away and I'm picking it back up again. But I have fallen in love with fragrance and I love to make sure that I smell good at all times. Cause it's important. I feel like it's important that we have a scent about ourselves. I don't have a signature scent because I have so many that I'm trying and I, I fall in love with some for a season and I switch it out. I wanna give the scents a fair chance. I, I buy fragrances for certain occasions, perhaps a vacation and certain things have different meanings, right? But I love the idea of smelling good at all times. That has become increasingly important to me because not only does it feel good, it's a conversation starter. Even when I'm somewhere and someone smells good, I'm asking questions. So it's a great way to connect with people and also just feel good. I have a very sensitive sense of smell. I smell everything very quickly, okay? Nothing gets past me. <laughs> I like to smell good. So every single day, whether I'm home or I'm going somewhere, I'm spraying on some kind of fragrance. I have fragrance everywhere in my car and all of my purses. I basically keep stuff in every purse so that when I am changing out a purse, all I have to do is take out my wallet and my ear pod case and put it inside and then go. I don't have to then now restock my whole entire purse because it already has in it what I need. And the why I say that is because I have samples and decants of fragrances that are in these purses so that I have fragrance everywhere. Now, can we stop and talk about the face because it is coming together, right? Don't be alarmed in the beginning. Do not be alarmed. I don't want to hear it, okay? It's a process. And that's just how I like to do my process. Smelling good is so important. We're going to add some shadow with this LYS contour. It's a bronzer stick, but I use it as a contour. This is a shade deep, worthy. It just makes me feel good. I think it's important. And along those same lines with fragrance is making sure that my house smells good. 
Again, my sense of smell is very sensitive. It's very strong. I want to make sure that I always smell good and that my home smells good. When you come up in this house, you're going to get an assortment of scents, okay? It's not going to just be one thing. There's an assortment, okay? We've got candle warmers everywhere, okay? We've got plugins. And now you might think that this is an excess. You might think this is a problem. Thankfully, I don't have a, an allergy to fragrance because that would be terrible. That would be terrible. But there's a, there's a scent everywhere, okay? Okay. And then of course I burn candles, not only for the ambiance, but for added scent. When I'm cooking, I deodorize my house by boiling coffee grounds on the stove. I do not like odors of any kind. And if you are of African descent, then you know that our food and not just our food, but I'm, I can speak for myself. Our food is very flavorful, colorful fragrances, colorful aromas from different ingredients. And I, although I love to taste it, I do not want to smell it in my house or on my body, okay? I, I'm not doing the elementary school getting cracked on because you smell like onions and, and you know what I'm saying, Maggie Q, we're not, we're not doing that. So my adoration for scent reaches far back, but of course, as I got older and was able to afford things, I made it a point because I realized how happy I feel when I come into my house and it smells good. If You might not realize this, but we have a scent about us. Even if you don't spray on a fragrance, we have a scent about us. When you go somewhere, you're your clothes smell like your house. Your house has a scent. If you are used to your scent, you might not realize it. If you're used to your house, you might not realize it. But people, when they visit, and people, when they're around you, when you're just going to the store, sitting on an airplane or whatever, your jackets, your stuff, your belongings smell like something. And I need everything to smell good. Okay, I just, my nose is way too sensitive for that. I don't like my stuff smelling dusty, just old. And, and I get it, stuff happens. I like to open up the windows. I like to deodorize. It's just so important to me. If you're like that, let me know. And if you're not, that's okay too. We're talking about me right now. <laughs> I'm sharing what I have done and continue to do, you feel me? And the scent is just so important, okay? This scent is so important. And like I said, it's the ambiance too. You know, it's the experience too. But that's also there. That's also there. <laughs> My nails have come a long way. If you've been here for a while, you know that I used to do a lot of things to my nails. I used to go to the nail salon, obviously, and then during COVID, I stopped. Actually, before COVID, I stopped. I was doing press on nails. And then it, it just, it bode well for me because stuff was shut down. Not only do I love to save the money, I enjoy doing it on my own. It's therapeutic, it's fun, it's, and it's it's so cheap. Like what? I love doing that. Now, I used to do lots of different color and I stopped doing that because there'd be times where I'd have a campaign and my nails could not be of a distracting color or pattern. And just to make my life easy, I was like, let me just do some neutral colors so that I don't have to be changing my nails last minute if need be. Like, can you imagine putting on a beautiful ruby red nail set and then suddenly you have a campaign and it's like, nails cannot be a distracting color. <laughs> Like, well, excuse me? So then I gotta take it off and then do my nails again because I love my nails being done. That's something that makes me feel very feminine, beautiful, sexy. So having them done is important to me. I just need my nails done, okay? Um, now my nail beds do be suffering a little bit because I don't be taking the best care when I take off my nails and I know I need to do better at that. I literally was just saying this myself recently because my nail beds were so weak. I just be ripping them off. That is not okay. I do get that, okay? I had to just go with something neutral that goes all the time, every day. So I got rid of all my colorful nails. I mean, I wasn't like, I mean, I was actually. I was doing purples and pinks and oranges. Ooh, I love bright fluorescent colors on brown skin. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I just love it. I still love it. This is the Elf Halo Glow in the shade medium beige. I still love it, but I just had to stop. I had to stop because it just wasn't convenient. You feel me? And when you get your nail set on well, and it's on well, I mean, it's on well. <laughs> You know when it's on, and you know when it's on well. You feel me? When you get your nail set on well, and you gotta take that off before it's ready, it be on so well that the takeoff is so much of a struggle. And I'm not trying to have a struggle. When the nails are old, the coming off process is easy. My dad's here. But when it's brand new, and it did, mm -mm, it's a headache and I don't want any more headaches than I already have in my life. Praise the Lord, okay? So having the nails done is so important. And I do my own toes, I do my own gel. It be lasting forever, baby. And now that it's winter time, I mean, I am due to do them all over again. I haven't done that, but that's okay though. They got a color on them. You feel me? I keep my feet 
buffed in the shower. In fact, today I was in the shower and I buffed my feet down. That's important. Get you a pumice stone, keep it in the shower, buff your feet down. I don't get pedicures. I only go, what, like once every two years? God only knows. If I go, I literally just feel like getting pampered. I'm not going because I need it, you feel me? Or I'm in a rush and I got somewhere to go and I don't have time to do it myself, but I have not been to get my toes done in God knows how long. Okay, I do my own situation. Again, this is all part of feeling feminine, sexy, beautiful, well-kept. I have never been so intentional and I've never put so much importance around this. And it actually feels fun. It doesn't feel like a chore, okay? If this feels like a chore to you, then don't do it, you feel me? It's not by force. We're not here by force, I said, what is here? This is just for you to be doing to just have some enjoyment at your at your house. What is here? This is not, and you have to be bad, you know, that shit, sh I'm, I'm you know, I can't show so you have to do these things. It's just not that kind of situation. I does, yeah. So that is that. Listen, I'm gonna highlight and I've been using these Givenchy highlighters. It's not gonna give me the, the va va voom that I want, although this is pretty. This is the Prisme Libre highlighter and this is the shade, this is the bronze one. I had one that was more, it was called Rose. It was more silver and I don't know where it is. I mean, let me put something back in my hand. Like this is cute, but it's natural. Let me show it to you. Cause like I said, it's natural. You might enjoy this for a natural situation. I'm blotting it off because it's very creamy. It spreads widely. The Rare Beauty highlighter that I like to use would be louder. Like this is there, but it's more subtle. Do you see? It's there, but it's subtle. So if you like subtle, that's a good one. Although you have Flaunt from Rare Beauty, back of the hand. This one, as you can see, is more champagne and look. Yeah, I just, I need it to pop more. It don't compare. <laughs> So we need to balance out the nose with just a little bit. And basically, as an FYI, the way that I choose my foundation is being darker than my skin tone. If you look at it, I'm contouring my whole face and then highlighting it, but then adding contour again to balance it. Just my strategy, baby. You gotta do what works for you. I'm gonna do what works for me. You know what I mean? So with the femininity journey, again, these are things that I just enjoy. I look forward to, I literally look forward to in the middle of the night rolling over and smelling myself. Hi, the heck? I will be out and just smell my wrist because I wanna make sure that my fragrance is still there. Hi. That's that's just me. And my nose is so sensitive. I need my car to smell good. I need my I need everything. Everything. Be beer. Everything. I guess, yeah. So that's that. Now with the body, like I said, I take care of my feet in the shower. I've got keratosis pilaris, strawberry skin, you feel me? On the elbows, back of the thighs, that happens. It's common, it's a buildup of protein. You wanna scrub that off, right? Now let's talk about the skin. I do laser hair removal. It's been a while. I gotta be honest with you. I was like, okay, why am I still doing this? Why aren't I finished yet? And the fact remains that, I don't know. They had to intensify the intensity. What, what, the, what? <laughs> They had to turn up the heat, you feel me? It has worked. I see a considerable difference. But are my hairs completely gone? Have they completely stopped growing? No. I do here, here, here. I do the sideburns because I, I used to have a lot of hair here. So, you know, it does work, you feel me? And I do shave my face, right? But I digress. I do my armpits. I do my full arm to the shoulder. I do my full leg. I do the Brazilian, the front and the back. You always gotta do a zip, do it, zip, zip. While we did, baby did. I do all of that, you feel me? And yes, I have seen a drastic difference, but is it completely gone? No, I don't regret it, but I do feel like, I am thinking, when are we gonna be done? Mm -hmm. Are we gonna finish at any point? You feel me? I know that it requires touch-ups, but doing it in general just makes me feel more put together, well-kept. I know that it's an expense. I get that. Praise God that I can afford to do that, right? But if you can't, there are different IPL products you can do at home or just shave or just nair. I used to nair, right? Like, what the heck? I didn't shave much. I just shaved my armpits, so I used to nair. Anyway, I love being able to do that because the amount of darkness that I used to have, especially in the groin, <laughs> you feel me? It's not like that anymore. So when I wear a bikini, baby, when I wear a swimsuit, baby, more confidence, you feel me? Because all the irritation was leading to the hyperpigmentation, which leads to the darkness that lingers around after you have shaved or after you've had an irritation, a breakout. So the laser has been a huge, huge help in that area. I I think it's worth it. I wish I had done laser years ago, but I didn't have the money years ago, so here we are, praise be, okay? Dental hygiene is so important to me, girl. I mean, I've said this a few times, I'll say it. I was not someone that took 
flossing seriously. And that's a problem. Yo, food, bacteria being trapped between our teeth, harms our gums, causes bad breath. I mean, who has time for that? And I know that I had to be introduced to different hygiene routines, like just, just a hygiene routine in general, I didn't even know existed. So of course, watching videos like you're watching this one opened my eyes up and I was like, hold on, I need to be doing more. I need to be taking this more seriously, you feel me? So that began my journey into whitening my teeth. I'll link below the teeth whitening that I use. My dentist does provide whitening gel, but hers is not as strong as when I get on Amazon. I have a whole video on it. The one I get on Amazon is very strong. Everyone's bone structure is different. Proceed with caution. I use 44%, that's a whole different thing. I mean, it is on my list though, so let's talk about it. I do whiten my teeth, okay? Now there is a color corrector on this camera. So in, in, in life, in real life, you'll see a hint of like natural yellow on my teeth. And I say natural because I do whiten, but I don't whiten as frequently as I used to when I first started whitening. So naturally through food, through in, in, in the environment, it's just through foods and beverages, it'll darken your teeth and you make it white, you feel me? Whitening is definitely a part of the glow up journey, of the reinvention, that's important. You wanna have a bright smile because it, it says something about you. All of these things say something about you. It says to the person in front of you or around you, she cares for herself. She cares about how she appears, how she smells, about how she is perceived. And it's not about, oh, I care about how someone feels about me or thinks about me and I'm so insecure. No, it's about I care about myself and I want you to know that. So that when you approach me, you know that I'm not playing the game. So you feel me? It's more on that level. So let's think about it the right way and not in the toxic, insecure way because that's not what it is. At least for me, okay? It could be for, for somebody else, but it's not for me. So teeth whitening, yes. And then that dental hygiene routine. You've seen me share so many times where I do the flossing day and night and then I brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush. Then I will scrape my tongue. Tongue scrapers, I cannot. Now, if you are of African descent, then you might know about the hard toothbrush. Girl, they be using it on their teeth and their tongue. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that one on my teeth, honey. I am. I already do enough to my teeth with whitening, so I'm not doing that. We're not taking the enamel off of our teeth. <laughs> We're not doing that. And I used to use a hard toothbrush on my tongue, and it has worked. You feel me? That's what I grew up on. But no, no, no. Now I use the, ten the tongue scraper, and it is a game changer. This plastic, I buy a whole container of them. I have some in my suitcase. You can throw them away. It's just better than the whole hard toothbrush. You know what I'm saying? And then I do my mouthwash. I love, and I've talked about this at nauseum. I love that mouthwash. Link in everything below. It is just so good. And it definitely will keep your breath fresh for 24 hours, but you gotta have the whole shebang, right? You can't just be eating Funyuns and then go to bed and then we'll do the mouthwash and then go to bed and think in the morning you're gonna have fresh breath. No, you gotta floss, you gotta brush, you gotta scrape your tongue and then you gotta do the mouthwash. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> We gotta get to it, you know? We gotta, we gotta do it. It's very, very important. And very important, very important. This is the YSL All Hours Conceal in the shade is DN5. They actually sent this to me. It's neutral and it's just, it's not bright enough. I don't like neutral under my eyes and it's just not bright enough in general. So we gonna put this under the brows. Now, you know I've been in therapy for a minute. I actually had therapy session today at 9 a.m. Therapy is important. I've said this before and I'll say it again. What is the sense in working on putting attention toward, I, I, I gotta go slow because my brows, our outward appearance. Oh God, let me focus. And not focusing on the inside. It's just, it's shameful. It's, it, it would be negligent, okay? And I used to do that. I wasn't in therapy, so I was being negligent. It's a problem. To me, everybody needs therapy at some point in their life. And I feel like we need to have not only a college fund, not only a savings account, not only a first car account or whatever allowance and stuff. We need to, if, if possible, have a therapy account for our children. And I've got one because it's this is so important. I have had so many breakthroughs. Oh my gosh, it's just so important. I mean, I've talked about this at nauseum as well. It is important to me. It's not just about how you look on the outside. It's not about how, you, you know, your hair is laser, your Brazilian is smooth, your stomach is tight because you had 360 light bulb. I'm talking for myself. It's not all about that, you feel me? It's not about working out and losing weight. It's also about the inside. Am I healing childhood traumas that are rearing their ugly head in my adult life? Have I overcome areas of concern? Have I been told that there are areas that are of concern that I didn't realize. A lot of times people like to feel like they don't need therapy and that's ego and pride. Let's talk about it. You know, some people will say, oh, I mean, I don't even know what I would talk about. Honey. <laughs> 
Get in that session, baby. Get in that session. And then when they say, tell me about your childhood. Tell me about how your parents were growing up. Tell me about what traditions you had. How was your relationship with your siblings? Honey, when you get to talking and they start to asking you questions, oh baby, you gonna have something to talk about. That's, that's how it is. <laughs> I remember being like, oh yeah, that is a problem. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, wow. Now that you say it, you feel me? There's a lot of now that you say it. So it's it's just important, it's just important. Now, 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 there's a spectrum, you feel me? There's some of us who are really, really, really in trouble and others of us who are doing well. There's always, in my opinion, I believe there's something that can still be healed, something that can be talked through, something that can be ironed out with a specialist, with someone who was trained to help people with their lives. I do not feel like we should be burdening friends with heavy duty material. Like, excuse me? <laughs> These friends don't even know what they're doing. What you mean? Like, no, 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 no. You gotta call a therapist. You gotta call a therapist, okay? I have one. Praise the Lord, you gotta have one too. Yeah, we gotta bring it to therapy. <laughs> Mac Soft Oka Paint Pot. It's been a long time since I've used the paint pot. Let's talk about it. It's been too long since I have used an eyeshadow primer. I am offended, okay? I am offended. I like to dress up. And I've liked to dress up for a long time. I just got way too complacent, especially during COVID, you feel me? And I talked about this in a different video. I've mentioned it several times. Dressing up is more, has become more important to me, even when I'm just going to the most simplest place because I'm not dressing for the occasion, I'm dressing for myself. And I have seen, and I've mentioned in different videos, how I am treated and it's better. I, I mean, I like to think that it's because of how I look and people will comment, Oh, you look so nice. Where are you headed today? I'm like, just here. <laughs> I'm coming here. Yes, um, <laughs> excuse me. I mean, I'm, I'm friendly, but I'm, I'm being a little irritated right now. But yeah, I'm coming here. What's the problem? I'm coming right here. Mm -hmm. I came to be here. And I dressed for me. And it says a lot about you. It sets the precedence. It tells people about you before you even speak. Your scent, your look everything, your outfit, says something about you before you've opened up your mouth. And then you've opened your mouth and you're articulating your words. That further demonstrates that you are a woman of substance. Bajazia. So it's all of those things put together. It weaves together such a beautiful blanket, you know, that the people can don themselves with on a cold day. Do you like? <laughs> Do you like what I just did? It's giving, po what's it called? Poetry slam. See, I'm not talking to you. Amazon thought I was talking to her. I'm not talking to her. Too Faced Better Than Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. Hi. This is a newbie. That's for me. I mean, that's what I like to do. You feel me? You're watching the video because you want to know what I do. And uh -huh, that's what's important to me. And that's what I do, baby. Now, in talking about friends, I don't keep very many because I'm just a loner in that sense. This is the shade Brownie Points. But with the friends that I have, I as I've gotten more mature, I have recognized that you've really got to be doing the same work that I'm doing in order for us to be able to get along. I mean, what do we have in common if I'm on a growth mindset journey and you're not? What do we have in common if you wanna get on the phone and talk about everybody else but yourself? What do we have in common if you're running away from your issues and I'm running toward mine? Each and every day in order to heal and to be a better person. What are we talking about? You feel me? I forget what book I was reading, but it talks about that. It said to write down all the friends or people that you, you communicate with on a regular basis and then indicate which of these take from you and which of these give to you. And I didn't have many names to write down, first of all, but when I wrote that down, it made some things real cl painfully clear for me. I was like, uh, huh, we gotta talk less because I'm giving a lot in this relationship and I'm actually annoyed. I'm getting off the phone being annoyed by you. Outside of the frivolous stuff, what are we talking about? What are we doing? No, I do not have time for that. So with the reinvention, with the glow up is, cleaning house. Not everyone that wants to be around me is gonna have the access to be around me. This is not a community shelter. It just isn't. And it's not like I have a line out the door trying to get in the building. It's not that. I'm just saying, I recognize that for some people, what binds them is, oh, I don't wanna be mean. I just wanna, I don't give a damn. I don't wake up and go to bed thinking, man, I hope I wasn't mean. Man, I hope so-and-so doesn't think that was mean. I do not think about that. I do lead with respect, but I do have great boundaries 
and I do respect myself. So like, what? I don't know. No, just because someone wants to be your friend doesn't that they can. And I respect that about somebody else as well because I want to be someone's friend. Let's say that they're not available. You know, let's say that they're not taking applications because let's call it what it is. You, a friendship is a relationship, you know? And if you ain't got that kind of time, that's okay. If you're full, you feel me? Then that's okay too. If you have your core people and you are not looking to add any more or anyone else to it, that is perfectly fine as well as adults. I'm not offended by that. So I do have that boundary and that is just so important because was saying that some of the five close people to you, <laughs> I forget the rest, but basically it dictates how your life gonna be, honey, how far you gonna go. And honey, my life and my future is very important to me, okay? My legacy is very, very important to me. And with that, I gotta say, it does get lonely sometimes. I do feel like, dang, I wish I, you know, I wish I had a crew to go here with and go there with, but then I realized that I have been for a while and am still in an isolation period. And that's okay. That doesn't have to be a bad thing. So when I feel a little bit of FOMO, I just have to remind myself that I'm in isolation for a reason. Yeah, I could call up and reach out and cling on to, you know, X, Y, Z group of people and, and do all those things, but that isn't always necessarily what it looks like because not everyone is who they portray themselves to be. Let's just call it like that. What look am I doing? Cause I don't even know. Oh, and I curled my wig, it's in the bathroom. <laughs> so I just threw this one on for the video. Can you imagine? This is such an old and dusty wig. This is my working out wig. I'm so sick about it. <laughs> I actually hate it. <laughs> I plan on dyeing it black and we'll see if it, if it revives itself. If not, throw it in the trash. I'm gonna do a halo eye because it's been such a long time. So let's bring this halo in. I love listening to podcasts. I've got some favorites like Trent Shelton, Straight Up. I listen to Jenny Allen. I listen to Therapy for Black Girls. Sometimes it's a hit. I don't know. They be doing all kind of different things. And just, I don't understand. But Therapy for Black Girls is a good one. I like listening to Courtney L. Sanders. She talks business. There are a bunch. And I just love to learn. I love to learn. After graduate school, learning has not stopped for me. I mean, I took a break. I wasn't reading right out of grad school, but I had to realize one day that I enjoy learning. So why have I stopped? And then it's up to me to get back on a bandwagon because I want to make sure that I'm furthering myself in the area of knowledge. Listening to podcasts that are going to teach me about life, different things. I've been listening to TED Talks too, because again, I want to learn about stuff that are not in my wheelhouse. Why not expand my wheelhouse? Why not expand my surface lexicon? That's the words that I reach to on a day-to-day -day basis that are just common knowledge that just roll out easily. And then we have the deep, listen, evidence of me learning, hello. Then we got the deep lexicon, the words that we are familiar with but don't employ often enough. I want to further and extend both of those because hello, it's all important. It's important in conversation. And for me, it's important in general because I Love to learn. This actually looks pretty, this little peekaboo. Hi, and this is an old school look for me because back in the day, I would put a little bit of white right here or I would just take the eye primer that I was using because it's a soft peach white type color and then just leave it. I can actually do that. Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me get some of this soft ochre and put it there and let's see, I'm not gonna leave it, but I do need it to pop a little bit and then I'm gonna put this eyeshadow on top. In addition to the podcast, I admire reading. I wasn't reading as much and like I said, I had to realize, listen, what are some things that I like to do? And reading is, wow, ow, oh, it's some of the soft ochre getting up to my brow. <laughs> Let me get it out of my nail. So reading, I recently finished Sarah Jakes' book. I forget, All Hope Is Found, uh-huh. I got it during the conference and it was so good. I'm now reading Think and Grow Rich. What? That book is long, it is dense. The chapters are so long. I'm like, yo, when am I gonna finish one chapter? Good Lord. I was able to get through All Hope Is Found a lot easier than I'm getting through Think and Grow Rich. But I keep seeing that it is a great book to read and it is. I'm on chapter two and it's taking me forever. I don't dedicate as much time to reading as I should, but I know that it's a goal of mine. It's important to me. I've got it on my iPad, which I love. And it just makes things easy because it's digital. I can highlight digitally, which is so fun. I was that person who had colored highlighters and colored markers. I mean, I carry my pouch. It was giving Trapper Keeper. It was giving fifth grade, but it makes me so happy. Can't you see I'm very detail oriented, highly conscientious. It's just me, okay? And I was doing all of that. And then I realized, hold on, I can use, I can do this stuff digitally and lighten up my load and it's still cute and color coordinated you know so i be doing that and i like it 
it's fun. <laughs> and that's important. Again, conversation starters, edifying for self, right? None of this is to get validation outwardly. It's for, in my opinion, and in my experience, and from my life, for me. It's for me. I'm a forever scholar, and I love that. I'm gonna use this cute YSL Couture Mini Clutch Eyeshadow. This is 400. It came in a four pack, and this is so sexy. I have not done purples in a long time. So I'm gonna do the darker purple first and then I'll choose one of these frosts. Always tap off the excess, let's see, because we're gonna build it up. So I'm putting it right here. It's gonna look like I'm closing this in, but not so much. Just a little bit. It actually is taking over <laughs> the brown that I just put there. I, I mean, I could've just done, I could've just did this, but anyway, it's fine. We're building up. If you know me, you see my videos, I like to build the look up, brick by brick, you feel me? Not always do we just slap on a color and go sit down. Oh, and I've got to mention when I mentioned the candles in the home for the mood, it's keeping my home clean. I mean, thankfully I can afford for a cleaning company to come once a month. And of course, in between that, just keep my home nice and tidy granted. I mean, there are times where, listen, the laundry basket is over here somewhere and this is over there somewhere. That happens, it's life. But I really do make it a point to do my best to keep it clean. My mom would always be like, the house needs to be clean so that if you get a sudden visitor and you're feeling you're gonna be cleaning up and throwing things everywhere. It's just already tidy. Keep the baseline clean enough, you feel me? And then if you gotta do a little one, two, one, two, you don't have much to do versus like I said, someone's coming over and you're throwing stuff in the closet. I cannot. Highly conscientious type of personality. I do not like last minute stuff. I can't function, I can't stand it. This actually looks pretty. Should I leave it or should I spray? I could intensify it by spraying, but I don't even need to. I could have also used my finger, but I was already doing the brush, so I kept it that way. But these are really pretty for cute gifts if you wanted to grab. Ooh, but let's smooth this out. I'm turning the brush over and getting that purple again. Let's see if I should go this way. Yes, I guess so, okay. Soften that up a little bit. Okay, do and key. I'm gonna leave it. I mean, it's it looks good. Let me just fix up here. Now with all my travels, praise be, I'm traveling more than I have ever in my whole entire life and I'm so grateful every single time. I had to learn the hard way to get, when did I? Well, my business credit card that I got when I first opened the business is a travel rewards card, so it wasn't that much of a hard way, but I recognized that I was traveling with United so much that why not get a United credit card? So I got that, I got the points, and I use United a lot. I use their lounge, you know that already, right? It's a no-brainer because with the travel, why not get the two free checked bags? Why not get the lounge access? Why not get the free upgrades and so forth? Yes, I could have done Amex, but like I mentioned before, the overcrowding, it just felt like it was just too much. I don't like all that, you know me? I just need things to be easy and I didn't want the hassle. I'm pleased with where I am, although I won't lie, every now and then I'm like, should I get an Amex? I don't know. <laughs> Do you be able to get to the airport early, go into a lounge? I don't eat breakfast, but if I did, they got breakfast up in there. They got an open bar, you feel me? You can tip if, you, if you're feeling froggy. And you can just go find somewhere to sit down, plug in your laptop and find somewhere good to sit. You know what I'm saying? It's the little things. It just makes me feel like my hard work has been rewarded. You feel what I'm saying? All of this is not for naught. I'm reaping the benefits of my hard work and my dedication to be able to enjoy different luxuries like having a house cleaner, like being able to access a lounge, like being able to get free upgrades, like being able to take my two free check luggage and so on and so forth. Additionally, I mentioned this a while ago, but having the monthly car wash membership is something that I never would've thought about because I don't know anyone that has that. But when I discovered it, I was like, hold on, this is clutch. Because again, I like things to be neat and tidy and why not keep my car clean on a perpetual basis as opposed to every God knows what I'm going to get my car washed. I can go to the car wash up to twice a day. I don't, I ain't got time for that, but I mean, I can wash it whenever I feel like it. You know how you wash your car and it's like, oh my God, it's gonna to rain tomorrow and I gotta go do it again. Thankfully, I ain't gotta worry about that because I can wash my car every day if I felt like it. And that's just another way where I feel like, yes, I'm reaping the benefits of working so hard to enjoy different luxuries that I wouldn't have been able to beforehand. And these are the things that just make me feel, you know, reinvented, alive, winning, all the things, you know what I'm saying? Again, I don't be giving rides. I don't be doing much when it comes to fraternizing, you feel me? But when I do, and you get up in this whip, one thing it ain't gonna be is dirty, okay? You just not gonna catch me slipping like that. Again, you don't ever know when somebody, hey, can you come pick me up? What? Now I gotta run to the car wash because the car got all kind of, no, 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 no. We're just not doing that. There are certain things that we just ain't gonna do. 
you know. This inner eye is giving silver champagne. So I'm gonna use this milk color chalk. The shade is hopscotch. It's, oh, it's gonna give, I don't, this, it's just giving extra silver, silver. And I like to contrast it. I just, yeah. But I don't know that the gold, not, see, you gotta make it even. We make a mistake, gotta make it even. Otherwise, it's just, no, it gotta be even. What I'm saying is I've got jump. Now this one's way more orange. There's kickball, but I don't have kickball here. I want to bring some gold to this, but I just didn't know if the gold would look good. I don't know if the gold gonna look good with purple. You feel me? It's okay, what do you think? <laughs> Okay, the gold actually looks good. It matches the what I did here with the Givenchy. And even though I went on top of it, I can still see the yellow gold. Okay, this is giving white gold, frosty champagne, and this is giving yellow gold. So it is tying in very nicely. Fitness, honey, fitness, you know, has become increasingly important to me. Uh, listen, I'm getting hotter and hotter, sexier and sexier, better and better, richer and richer, greater and greater. So this is successful. <laughs> Like all the things, you feel me? I love it, I love it. Aging is not going to take me out. I'm gonna enjoy every ounce of it. Can you imagine? I never would have seen it that way. I mean, I didn't know what it would be like to be at the great age of 37 years old, honey. Mm -mm -mm. Young, sexy, and free, baby. And I love it, okay? I feel like I am living in my prime. I really, really do. I mean, if it ain't obvious, it's, 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 let it be obvious, baby. I've just been enjoying getting my body together. Yes, I had cosmetic surgery. And that was the second step of all of this. Beginning keto many years ago was the first step. And then of course, maintaining. I still want to trim down. I still want to tone up. I want to be tight and right and live my best life. Similar to my point when it came to the outer, not matching the inner and needing to have therapy to just get overall healing. To me, the body need to be right too. Now what is right is relative, hello? So for me, I wanna lose body fat, I wanna tighten up, I wanna be strong, and I wanna look and feel good. People might look at me and say, you know, you don't need to lose any weight. I didn't even ask, you know, with all due respect, I didn't ask. What I did was just say that I'm gonna lose weight because I want to be tight and right and healthier. I don't want to have so many jiggles. And again, taking care of my body shows that I care about myself. It's not about what I'm trying to show to other people. However, it comes across. You smell good, your teeth are clean, your nails are clean, and you're put together. Your outfit is cohesive, whatever that looks like. Even if you wear sweatpants, pants, it matches. It looks, you just look like you took care and time to do your hair. And you know, you, you just look clean. You feel what I'm saying? You look well kept. And all of that says something and means something. And then when you take care of your body, whether you're thick fit, cause I'm thick, okay? But I wanna be thick fit or you're slender fit. Whatever the case is, being healthy and looking it is so important to me. I'm not trying to carry all this excess weight into my latter years. Cause it's, it's not even, it's not comfortable. I don't wanna be exhausted going up flights of stairs. It's not healthy. And not to mention when you come from a line of family that has different ailments, I rebuke taking numerous pills and medications every day just to survive. I rebuke it. And our parents didn't know any better. And you know, with the poverty and the foods that were available, I get it. Sometimes this is food induced. Some of it is hereditary. But as I watch on the sideline, I've already said that I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that that's not gonna be me. Unless I come down with something that I cannot control, but God forbid, you feel me? From what I can control, I've recognized that. With this reinvention, glow up, self-care, femininity, journey, whatever you want to call it, my health is also of utmost importance. It's not just about my, my house smelling good, okay? It's not just about the car that I drive. You feel me? The car can have shiny rims and I can be, you know, on diabetic medicine, God forbid. And that is not what I want for myself. So although food is so good, I, I haven't had a margarita. Well, not a keto one. I haven't had, a, I've had a keto once. I haven't had a, like a regular sugary, delicious, amazing margarita in years and that's okay with me because these small sacrifices are gonna have and, and have already had huge benefits and rewards for me that far surpass the momentary joy of having a real authentic raw margarita. Just, I'm just giving you an example, you feel me? So all of that is important to me. We're more seasoned, okay? And I ain't got the time to waste. This is a long video, if you're still here, <laughs>
Girl, thank you. We chillin', we talking, it's giving vlog vibes, okay? We chillin', we talking because all this is important. All of this is important. When I began my YouTube channel, I said to myself, and God has been holding me accountable, that this is not all about the outward appearance. Let's look beautiful, attractive, desirable, and then just be roughed up, raggedy on the inside. That's not important. No, 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 no. The minute I get to that, take all of it away from me because who am I? Mm -mm. I wouldn't even feel comfortable. So going after staying on the trajectory of growth and development is so important. And I hope that it's important to you because if not, who are we? Who are we as a person? Who are we as a society if all we care about is how we look? How about on the inside? It's giving philosophy video. <laughs> I need my eyelashes to dry, okay? Oh my gosh, and let's talk about, this is my last point, let's talk about offense. I, and I'm sure like you, have been offended from a number of people for a number of reasons. People are offensive. I know I have been offensive and I know how to be offensive, right? You can subconsciously offend someone or you can know <laughs> that with this thing that I'm gonna do, with these words I'm gonna say, I wanna make sure that it hurts. You feel what I'm saying? So I recognize the, the differences of the two. Let's call it what it is, okay? When it comes to being offended, I have really worked on making sure that I'm not easily offended. Now, I've talked about this before, but it's, it's, worth, it's worth circling back to. It's very important. I can't control how other people feel and respond. That is not my goal in life at all. In fact, that's actually exhausting. Never my goal in life, not ever gonna be my goal in life. But when it comes to offense, I've been working on making sure that I'm not offended. Do I get hurt sometimes? Yeah, I'll be like, dang, I cannot believe that. You feel me? And if I've wronged someone, I usually know. And if I've been told that I've wronged someone, thankfully, I'm able to say, wow, that was not my intention. I'm really sorry. I did not mean to do that because that's just the big girl thing to do. Hello. But when it comes to being offended, whether or not that person apologizes or even acknowledges, cause you know, you can acknowledge and not apologize. But if that person doesn't acknowledge and doesn't apologize, it's up to me to ensure I'm not taking on any offense because that stuff lives in the body. That stuff lives in the body and then it starts to spill out and I'm not trying to hold on to any extra cortisol. I'm not trying to have nobody's heart attack or stroke off a bit because of what someone did or didn't do. I'm not gonna be offended by people. So you know how you might be sitting somewhere like, oh, I wasn't invited to so-and-so. Uh, oh, now so-and-so doing it. Uh, oh, so-and-so hasn't called me. I haven't heard from so-and-so. I'm going through X, Y, Z, and da, da. I don't do those things. I've said this and I'll maintain this. No one owes me anything. And I've said that and I know some people think that that's so offensive. It's true. I don't owe you a thing. You don't owe me a thing. For me, as long as I keep that mindset, it keeps me from experiencing undue heartache, undue offense. Heartache and offense are different. Similar in some ways, but different. Both fruits, but not an orange, not an apple, they're different. Because I might be heartbroken like, dang it, man, I really wish I heard from so-and-so when this was going on. That's fair. I'm not saying I have a heart of stone. You know that, right? If you've been here, you know that. But does that person owe me anything? No, because everyone's going through stuff. You feel me? So how about when I was going through something, she was going through something. You feel me? He was going through something. So I was not on his or her mind. That's fair. I don't walk around like, yeah, and you didn't do this. And so da, 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 I want to want to want. No, some people are, are hanging on by a thread every single day. And I recognize that all I'm in control of is me and my actions. Do I feel disappointed? Yes. Do I feel hurt sometimes? Yes. But am I holding this over someone's head, people's heads? Absolutely not. These days at my big age, when I feel disappointed or hurt by something that someone didn't do that I hoped they would do, I do feel the hurt. I've learned to move the hell on because I don't have the time nor the interest to wallow in hurt. But being in therapy helps because what I don't agree with, and this is all about reinvention, being healthy on the inside, the glow up is not just about the outside, we've discussed this. It is good to process those feelings. It's important. Cause though that stuff sits in the body and now you're depressed and, and all kind of stuff. No, 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 no ma'am. I'm not gonna shove things down and pretend like it doesn't happen. I'm gonna talk about it in therapy and then I'm gonna work on letting it go. You feel me? And then those feelings of resentment and bitterness come up. I pray about it. I, I talk about it in therapy. 
therapy. I'm watching different videos on forgiveness and so forth. So it is a journey. I'm not Teflon Don, you feel what I'm saying? But I certainly, certainly have found a lot more control over my life in just making sure that I don't, I don't carry offense. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna join that party. I'm not gonna join it. I feel the hurt. I feel the pain. I feel the, the letdown, the disappointment, and I move the hell on. You feel what I'm saying? And then I leave my heart open for a reconciliation, for a conversation, an adult mature conversation with accountability. I don't leave room for people who are not accountable because if that's the case, then we may hash things out, but that doesn't mean that we're gonna come back together again in any fashion, okay? This is not a romantic thing. It just can just be any kind of friendship, anything, anything any kind of relationship, you feel me? That's important. Okay, that's important. Let me throw this wig on, honey. I'm gonna link this cap below. I like it. You could color this lace more, but you're not gonna see it on me, really. I like it because it's a cap and a wig grip in one. Hello? Let me throw this wig on. And let's close this out. Hi, we gotta do a lip too. Duh. I curled this before I came and sat down. So let's see. Ooh. Oh my God. Okay, so cover this. My wig smells so good because when I spray on my fragrance, it be getting on my hair. So my hair be smelling like a concoction. <laughs> Oh, mix of things. Oh my gosh. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. If you've made it this far, this is fantastic. I think we've had a time. This has a, a strange dent. Are you good at those? What do you call these? Rods? Wands? No, they're not wands. What is this? Whatever. Are you good at these things? Because sometimes I'd be doing stuff that I'm not interested in. Like, how? But it's good to keep the curl in so that each day you don't have to start all over again with fresh curls because the curls be falling. For a lip, I've been binging this Makeup Forever lip color pencil. This is a shade limitless brown so let's put i want to twist but you gotta sharpen that's what i can't stand all right let's line the lips i always start right here it's after midnight she's on your phone there you come over cause she's all alone no <laughs> all alone I can tell it was your ex my Yo, back in the day, what kind of music were we listening to? Now what is it that she wants? Tell me what is it that she needs? And in the middle of the lip, I think I want to use this Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. This is the shade Sun Kissed Nude. Let's see what she's saying. Oh, okay. Nice and creamy. This could not go on my cheek. <laughs> okay, uh, wow, that just broke off. And that was the whole pencil, so that's gone. <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to sharpen this. Well, good thing I got enough on. Let's just take the little piece. I'm so annoyed. All right, it's in a tissue in front of me. I'm gonna rub some of my finger and get it. Okay, mm, that's pretty. That's a pretty color and it's creamy. Lovely. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you laughed. I hope that you got some ideas on how to reinvent yourself, glow up, start the new year afresh, whatever you want to call this. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll link everything below, including this hair, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.